Before entering into that analysis, it uh, seems uh, reasonable to have some context about which has been the situation in 2010. European airports had a reasonably positive year in uh, 2010, generating a 4.2% increase in passenger throughput despite bouts of extreme weather, labor unrest, passenger taxation in some markets, and lingering economic problems in many parts of the continent. Freight traffic recovered by 18.7% last year of depressed levels in 2009, while aircraft movements were flat, uh, dropping 0.2%. Uh, Passenger traffic in 2010 was still 1.2% uh, below 2008, though freight traffic is now 2.2% over 2008 levels, thanks to last year pans back. There was no reversal of network contraction as airlines have yet uh, to fully restore frequencies and destination can during the crisis. Russian Otakis airports were among the fastest growing. Growth was led by last year by Italian Moscow to Modibo, with close to 20% increases, uh, while several airports in the mature markets of Italy also did well, namely Milan Malpensa and uh, Rome Fiumicino. Rome Fiumicino reported an encouraging 7.5% uh, increase in passenger numbers uh, to 36.3 million uh, last year. One of the drivers was uh, resurgent uh, Alitalia. Catania reported a 6.5% increase to 6.3 million, while Torino uh, plus 10.3 to 3.6 million, Bari plus uh, 20 to 3.5% to 2.4 million, and Milan Bergamo uh, plus 7.2% uh, uh, to 7.7 .7 million showed healthy gains. On the other hand, uh, volumes contracted at Rome, uh, Cempino, Verona and Palermo airports. The smaller, the smaller Italian airports also performed well with Brindisi plus 47.2% to 1.6 million, Rimini plus 44% to almost more than half uh, of a million passengers, Treviso plus 21% to 2.2 million, and La Mezzia Terme plus 16.4% uh, to 1.9 million, all performing strongly. Uh, volumes contracted at Algero, Olbia, Brescia, Parma, Perugia, according to the information provided by said report. London area airports suffer, while uh, there was a slow growth at the Paris, uh, Charles de Gaulle, Frankfurt, Madrid and Amsterdam hubs. Barcelona, Copenhagen, uh, Vienna and Stockholm reported moderate growth amongst the airports hum uh, handling over 10 million passengers. Now, it's time to address three main questions regarding the Spanish ADC. Is the privatization imperative? How the privatization would take place? And who could be the stars of the privatization? First question, is the privatization an imperative? Clearly, yes. IANA has been struggling for years to combat the high air traffic control provision caused in Spain, which are well above the European average and the highest of any major air travel market in the EU. In 2009, the country poured 450 million euros into a program to update its ATC system and engage it in a first cost cutting campaign following the traffic slump in the Spanish aviation in 2008 and 2009. However, High control of wages and fixed investment costs have hobbled attempts to reduce costs over the system. 2008, AENA's total ATM costs were 1.3 billion euros, while its gate to gate costs were uh, 1.2 billion, the highest of any ANSP in the European Union. The Spanish ANSP's uh, operation accounted for 16%, like 16%, one six percent of it. Yeah, Europe's total air traffic controlled costs, despite it handling only 10.5% of total European composite flight hours. Iona's traffic controlled costs in 2008 were the highest in Europe at uh, 688.3 million euros, mostly thanks to overtime and aging controlled workforce and high pension costs. It was more than double that uh, of the French uh, ANSP DSNA, which employed almost 700 more air traffic uh, controllers. INA has moved to bring controller wages more in line with all the ATCs, 
but it's it's facing the position for an uh, EUSCA, the Spanish Traffic Controls Union. A collective agreement negotiated between uh, AENA and the uh, EUSCA in 2010 called for the reduction of co control salaries to 480 euros uh, per uh, year for 2,300 controllers. At the same time, it maintained a guaranteed average annual salary of 200,000 and in uh, 2013 for operational uh, traffic controllers. USCA members opposed the plan with 92.5% uh, of voting members opposing the ratification of the new agreement, citing intolerable differences. Despite the ongoing problems with curves, the combination of improving traffic and reform in Fofoena has been successful in driving the company back towards break even operations. In late 2010, AENA cut its break even forecast from 2014 to 2012. Nevertheless, the Spanish airport privatization plan is a contentious one, particularly for AENA and heavily unionized controllers. While counter strike the controllers of a working condition, the privatization plan plagued air traffic control operations in the country over 2010, causing airlines an estimated 100 million euros. Negotiations between AENA and UCA are ongoing, albeit against a background of low level industrial unrest and continued ATCO agitation, fortunately. Uh, uh, he, though it seems that two parties have been unable to reach a firm agreement of a new collective agreement for ATCOs, Lord Ayana's confident that most basic, basic uses have been resolved, that uh, only minor uses like working hours and salary allocation remains to be finalized. The uh, fact is that finally the, the, uh, uh, the former minister uh, Pimentel, who was appointed as an arbiter to, to uh, solve uh, this uh, litigation has uh, issued an, uh, an award which has ended with this uh, dispute so uh, it's not expected to have uh, further industrial action in the in the future the second question how the privatization is going to take place the Spain plans to deregulate its airports uh, and air traffic control are part of a steady trend toward ATC privatization in Europe. It's not a coincidence that uh, NATS and LFB are bidding for the Spanish contract, as both ANSP's home markets have already been partially privatized. In December 2010, the Spanish authorities announced plans to partially privatize uh, the national airports company, AENA. The sale of 49% of the company is expected to raise uh, at least uh, 9 billion euros. Uh, funds that are needed to help Spain through the lingering sovereign debt uh, crisis. Aena manages 47 airports, including airports in Madrid and Barcelona, and had partnership holding in uh, 16 uh, Latin American airports and London Luton. In the interim, management of Spain's uh, two large airports, Madrid, Barajas, and Barcelona El Prat will be put out uh, to tender to private operators under 40 years license. Under the airport privatization plan, Aena's airport and uh, traffic control units will be separated. Spain plans to privatize 39 airports and a uh, traffic control at all uh, 47. The airport privatization tenders will be offered and three individual packages, which can be granted to different suppliers. Under the initial phase of the plan, uh, the Spanish government has decided on a limited tender for a traffic control service at 13 airports, including the major holiday destinations of Alicante, Lanzarote and Fuerteventura. Between them, these airports handle nearly 19% of the Spanish passenger traffic and 25% of its uh, aircraft uh, movements. The tender process will take approximately 6 to 7 months uh, while preparing the new controllers for Spain is uh, ATM will take another three. The process uh, will be finalized by the end of August 2011, after which AINAT intends to announce which consortium will receive the contract to run the 13 towers. Spain will open up control tower operation at uh, other airports from 2012. The third question, who will be the stars of the privatization? Spain's move to privatize its uh, traffic control system Ahead of the partial privatization of its airport, is attracting the interest of some of Europe's uh, linear navigation service providers. In ATS, a UK based NSSP, an LFB, Sweden's uh, state enterprise and navigation services provider, have both announced alliances with large Spanish infrastructure companies to bid for traffic control services in Spain. DFS, the German NSP, has also expressed interest in the bid process. 
that is partially privatized already, UK-based NITS is eager to expand its operation into more markets. The company has signed an agreement with Ferrovial through Ferrovial Services to bid for the air traffic control services in Spain. NITS has a sensitive experience with transatlantic operations. On the other hand, uh, Spanish uh, Fomento de Construcciones y Contratas, uh, FFC, announced it has formed an alliance with LFB to bid for Spanish uh, traffic control contracts. FFC has established subsidiary NAPSA Navegación y Servicios Aeroportuarios Sociedad Anónima to engage in air traffic control and aviation services. FFC will establish a joint venture with uh, LFB in which NAPSA will own 65% of uh, an LFP 35%. NAPSA has been established explicitly to target the opportunities for the ATC privatization process. If it is involved in the aviation industry through its subsidiary flight care, which operates ground hauling at 14 airports in the three European, uh, in three European countries. Uh, LFB and Flight Care and AFSA have signed an alliance agreement to join Traffic Beat for traffic control services at three airports and in the uh, Tanda. Clearly, there will be a lot of competition in the process, which is always good. Let's see how it evolves.